What's up, everybody? It's your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and this is the after party of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. I got Catwoman in the building to kind of dissect what we just saw uh, with the live keynote address. Uh, the keynote address was about an hour, uh, and uh, it, it's over now, and uh, we're going to uh, pick it apart, and we're going to give it our thoughts, the good, the bad, the ugly of what we just saw. Uh, it's pretty interesting to uh, kind of go uh, beyond what we just saw. Uh, and I go through all these keynote addresses every year. Every year we go through these keynote addresses. And this one was kind of, I don't know, man. I, I mean, look, Catwoman, I, I, welcome to the show, by the way. I, I got a coffee here. And, I mean, I was pumped up and cranked. Yeah. And uh, I got some notes here, not a lot of notes. No. Um, well, because we knew a lot of it already. Right, a lot of stuff was leaked out. Yeah, okay. a lot of stuff was already leaked out. So <laughs> that's why we don't really have that much notes. Well, but, um, let's yeah, let's let's get into it. Like, uh, do you want to talk about the camera first? Because that's I know that's the main thing. Right, right. Well, well, let's let's go to the first. Let's let's go to the, and, and talk about the, the the device itself. All right, we we got the the, the, the S nine and the S nine. Plus, all right, we got 5.8 inch and we got a 6.2 inch device. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, AMOLED display, infinity display. Uh, you get quad HD plus, right? Uh, 1440p plus. Uh, you're getting uh, four colors this time. We don't know about the United States. We don't know about the United States. That's going to be very interesting. But we're getting purple, a new purple color. Uh, we're getting a blue color. Uh, black and gray. Uh, so uh, everybody was kind of interested in the new blue color and purple color uh, because that got showcased like yesterday or last night that uh, we yeah. started seeing the uh, purple the lilac. color. Yeah. The, yeah, the lilac or whatever it is. Um, uh, stereo speakers. Okay, mm -hmm. so we get stereo speakers uh, and that's tuned by AKG uh, and uh, Adobe Atmos. All right. But the, the whole keynote was revolving around the camera. Mm -hmm. Camera, 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 camera. And I have been a, ugh, I've been pounding Samsung devices about the camera for the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, I don't know, before we dive into the camera, what's your thoughts about the keynote address, first of all? Um, it's, it wasn't, um, it wasn't as hyped as I, as I wanted it to be. I think it was mainly because of the music. I, I wish Samsung could do better with the music because they just kept playing the same song over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it's okay, but maybe if it like played it at different parts of the song, I don't know. The whole keynote, I guess, because we already knew what was going on, I felt like we were just sitting through like a review class on math where we're learning like, you know, the AVs, like not the AVCs, but like, you know, just PEMDAS and stuff like that. Yeah, I, you know what I felt, Catwoman? I didn't feel the energy. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sitting at the keynote address. I'm like, I'm sucking my cough. I'm like, uh, nodding off a little bit, right? I yeah, didn't yeah. know how, you know, with keynote addresses, you, you get that energy, that energy. Like, this is a new product. This is it. This is it. And I'm yeah. like, come on. This is what, yeah. what a hype at. And I'm hyped up about it. But mm, everybody was know. more like business today. Yeah. It was more like business, like this is what it is, this is what it does. It wasn't as hyped as um as as the other ones were. Yeah. And I mean they, they took some jabs at Apple. Uh, yeah, about the headphone jack and, and, and fingerprint scanner, which Samsung finally moved the fingerprint scanner. And they don't have a notch. <laughs> and they don't have a notch, so they did pick some fun at Apple. Yeah. Uh and uh but I, I don't know, I mean pretty Professional keynote address, right? Yeah, I mean, it was. It, I, uh, it wasn't as keynote as I wanted it to be. Yeah, because it didn't really go to. I mean, the the whole keynote address was about the cameras, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, they, they talked a little bit about uh, facial scanning, iris scanning, which we already got on, on the S eight. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the camera. The whole keynote address was about the camera. And listen, I can't wait to get the cameras because. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me here, right? I've been complaining about Samsung cameras for, for years now um, because it hasn't been the best. Now, we get slow-mo at 960 frames per uh, uh, FPS. Now, let's make sure we understand something. This is not the first device that does 960 frames. No. The Sony XZ Premium does 960 frames, and that was 2017 flagship, 
All right, so I, and a lot of people say, well, Samsung will be the first to do it. That's not absolutely, that. that's not correct because I got the Samsung, I mean, I got the uh, Sony XZ Premium that does 960 frames per second, I believe. I think it's 960 frames. Uh, and so we, we get the emojis, and obviously, I I knew somebody was gonna come out with an emoji to come to, to 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 you know go at Apple with an emoji, right? I saw a pink cat. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I wanted them to click on it. Yeah, it <laughs> I think that was the most exciting part. I saw a pink cat an emoji. I was like, oh my god, please press it. Yeah, so we we get an emojis, uh, uh, emo AR emojis, right? In which they kind of taking a different approach. They they use it, utilize your face to kind of give you little facial features and make it look more cartoonish, which is fun. I mean, I mean, think about it. I, I got the iPhone 10. I, I play with an emojis all the time. So yeah, you know, I mean you can play around with that. There's something to play well, with. You know what the AR emojis actually looks like? It looks like an episode from Black Mirror. Have you ever oh. seen you haven't seen the show yet, right? <laughs> no, I never saw the show. Okay, so there's an episode in Black Mirror where uh, everyone um, lives inside of like um, like a comp compartmentalized place, uh -huh. and everyone interacts with each other mainly through their own emojis. Oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna bring up a picture because okay. I, I can see that they got inspired from Black Mirror. Right, but you and, can and, and so uh, one of the things that they did talk about is integration with Bixby. Now they they say Bixby is coming out with a huge update later on in the year, uh, but uh, they're trying to take Bixby to the next level. Which Bixby it has gotten better. The problem that I got with Bixby is it's and you like Bixby because you use Bixby a lot. Yeah, the yeah. The problem yeah. I got with Bixby is it's too slow, man. Oh my God! It's just like you talk to you, you, you talk to your phone to try to get some work done. It's yeah. just too slow. But oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, Black yeah, Mirror so this avatar, is like episode of Black Mirror, and this is his avatar type of person, and this is everybody with their own avatars, and this is this is what I think inspired them to make it look like. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So we're kind of moving in that direction. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, I guess it could be fun. I mean, look, I use, I use an emoji on the iPhone 10. So, I mean, it, I, it'd be fun, right? I mean, they, they actually, we need some fun. So I mean, I, I was, they, they talked about Bixby, Bixby a little bit. Uh, but like, I, like I said earlier, I think my biggest problem with Bixby guys is, is that Bixby is too slow. Like, you know, for interaction with your phone and try to get something. Done. I know we, you made a video, you posted on my channel about Bixby and it is amazing. I've been using Bixby for a minute. I think the biggest problem with Bixby is just, you know, that the commands just take a little while. Uh, and, you know, you think about you ask Bixby to do something. And by the time Bixby does it, you can actually interact with your phone and get it done about the same time yeah. Bixby did. So I think the prop, the, the biggest challenge for Samsung is to, in order to get Bixby to get better as far as functionality, mm -hmm. it has to be faster. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I agree. So, and so I think that, and, and um, you know, <sighs> all right, so let's talk about this dual camera uh the aperture changing, all right? It's going from, from 2.4 aperture to mm -hmm. 1.5 aperture uh, yeah. for low light scenarios. Um, and look, don't get me wrong. I say this on this YouTube channel a lot. Still footage, still photos on the Samsung devices is king. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any problem with still footage. To me, that ain't what I'm looking for. I, I Listen, low light can always be improved. So I, I'm okay with low light, you know? Improve low light, improve low light, right? Uh, but... Uh, as far as the, the, the video, they didn't talk about too much about the, 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 the as far as video, right? So if they didn't talk too much about video, that, that's going to be questionable, guys. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, when they did talk about it, they, they talked about the slow-mo aspect of it. Right. They talked about the slow-mo aspect of it, but mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't go into, uh, you know, did they improve the video recording itself? Yeah, right? I didn't see so that. that that that's gonna be very interesting because I've been the advocate and pounding Samsung devices, and I've been saying it on this YouTube channel that the video cameras, the video software yeah. on the Galaxy phones is not the best. I've been saying it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I, listen, before we even continue on here, 
I want to say what's up to everybody that just joined the stream. Uh, uh, we got Alan, uh, we got Dan, we got Sean, uh, we got Aces in the building. Uh, we got uh, uh, Big Miss Tech in the building. Jason is in the building. Uh, everybody's in the building. So welcome to the after party of the Galaxy S9 and 9 Plus. Uh, this is the good, the bad, the ugly. We're going to dig real deep into it when we think about it. I mean, it was a one-hour keynote address, and maybe about 30 to 45 minutes, they all talked about the cameras, the camera software, slow motion, and stuff like that. Um, they didn't talk about the processors, right? They didn't say anything about but we already know what the specs are. Uh, they didn't talk about the processors. They didn't talk about the RAM. They didn't talk about the... Um, uh, they didn't talk about pricing, which Samsung really never talk about pricing, but we do have pricing uh, that was leaked out that we're going to talk about. Uh, iris scanning and stuff that's already on the S8. They come up with the purple color. Uh, and they and So on, on the screen front, they, uh, they talk about the, uh, the brightness is going to be brighter than uh, the old one uh, as far as the S8. So it's going to get bright. Now they talk about fast wireless charging. Now, don't no, we yeah, have, there was no improvement. Yeah. Right. Don't we have fast wireless charging already on the Galaxy phone? Yeah, they're just, I think they were just reiterating. That okay. Thing. Okay. Uh, That's what I thought because it, 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 I, I've seen fast wireless charging on Galaxy phones already. Mm -hmm. So that's that's nothing new. Uh, Miguel, he's in a comment said he said the S was boring. I mean, I was the same. I didn't see, I didn't feel the energy, man. I'm like, oh my God. I'm sitting up there like, Mm, I got my coffee here, guys, and I was like, I didn't feel the energy. It mm -hmm. just like it's, it just kind of remind you of an S series of an iPhone, right? Uh, and um, I was like, oh my god. <sighs> so, right, so uh, let's 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 talk about some of this stuff. Uh, stereo speakers. Yippee! We got stereo speakers. But we didn't get to. He, they didn't actually really show, showcase it. They just only like played like if you were in a movie theater. They didn't yeah. really show it. Um, but I guess you know we're just gonna have to wait for the phone to come out. That, but then also a lot of YouTubers they already posted their videos. Like as soon as it started. They're, the YouTubers were already dropping their video, yeah. taking so, it from unlisted uh, to public already. So I want to comment on Omar. He said, I'm hating. I, I'm not hating. Listen, man. All right, so <laughs> this, this, this make sure. It, I, I get this all the time, by the way. When I when I talk about Apple, same thing when I did the Apple keynote address. Everybody thought I was hating on Apple. Uh, when I make a funeral video for Apple, everybody says Samsung is paying me off. When I when I talk about Samsung devices, everybody tell me Apple's paying me off. No, listen. If they're it's, paying you, why don't you have the S9 right now? Why didn't you drop your I video? Know, I know. I <laughs> know. So if, if Samsung was paying me, I have the S9 right now. No, I'm yeah. not even no Samsung. Listen, I have every Samsung device. Matter of fact, I got this Samsung device. I got this phone. I got this phone. I got listen. I got like six Samsung devices sitting in front of me. I'm not hating on Samsung. I hold Samsung to a higher standard. That's the difference here, guys. Listen, I don't hate on Samsung. I think people get that mistakenly for hate. I love Samsung because get, look what I got. If I hate Samsung, why do I have like six decks? If I hate Samsung, why I got like six decks, right? If I hate Samsung, why do I have the Galaxy, all the Galaxy phones? I got the Galaxy Note 1. I got the Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy Note 8. I got... Listen, I got all the Samsung phones. Yeah. So if I hate oh, Samsung, so I just like to answer that question because a lot, lot of people <laughs> seriously, I do like because a lot of people say when I when I talk about Samsung phones, when I'm critical about Samsung phones, when I'm critical about Samsung product, the first thing people always say is, "Oh, there you go, Eric. Oh my God, you hate no Samsung." It's not that, man. For a thousand dollars. $950 plus tax will be over a thousand dollars. Of course, I'm gonna be critical about Samsung because this phone costs a thousand bucks. The same thing I did with the iPhone. Now, if y'all been watching my YouTube channel, I've been dogging the iPhone out. All right, so I've been really dogging the iPhone out. So uh, I just like to put that out there. You know, I mean, a lot of people, I think, here's the thing people assume things, but they don't like it. I got over a thousand videos on my YouTube channel where people assume things. I always like to clarify because people just kind of get things kind of, I don't know. All right, let's get, let's get back into it. All right, so. Uh, um, so okay, can I just say something about the audience? 
Yeah. They were not impressed. I know. You had to tell them to clap. I know. I was so confused. <laughs> it's I like, were they told not to say anything, not to have a reaction? Yeah. Like, I know. really, uh, if I was, I would have been like, woo! You know, but it, they, they yeah. weren't like that at all. Like, they were just like, it was just very. Yeah, you know, it, I'm telling you, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, uh, it wasn't, I didn't see, you know, the energy, like the yeah. people were clapping. It was like, uh, okay, front speakers, okay. And that's like, wait a minute, man. It's like, uh, it does, it's, uh I think been, in its own right, it, in its own right, the, uh, the things that they made um, better, I think is good. Um, but they could have presented it better. I, maybe they were just torn apart because so many things got leaked out by the time that they were, you know, doing the presentation that it was hard for them to stay excited. Um, I guess that's the, oh, that's, uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, look, I, I, I look, me and you, me, listen, for, for everybody that didn't know, me and Catwoman, we was, uh, we watched the whole keto to dress together, right? And we sit up there, we watch this keto to dress, and I'm taking notes. And usually when I take notes, I got like three, four pages of notes, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting up there like, okay, colors. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, really focus on it. And I was like, oh, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so some people was putting in the comments saying that the plus is going to be 800 uh, 840 bucks, 850 bucks, and the uh, the regular S8 is going to be uh, around uh, somebody say 719. That ain't listen, that ain't what we've been hearing. We've been hearing that the, the Galaxy S9 is going to be a hundred bucks more than the Galaxy S8. Yeah. So the 700 dollar price point, I don't think that's accurate at all. I think we we heard we was hearing eight, what eight, uh, what uh, we was hearing 850 regular, yep. And then 950 for the 950. So we've been hearing 850, 950 uh, for these two devices. Uh, you you got up the AT and T website. Uh, AT and T is the only one that has the Galaxy S nine showcase on the front yeah. of, of this website. All right. So uh, the Verizon don't have it. Also, uh, T yeah, Mobile Sprint didn't don't have it. it. They have Sprint don't have it. Right. Samsung Samsung has. Uh, yeah, so Verizon don't have it. T-Mobile doesn't have it. Yeah, T-Mobile doesn't have it. Sam uh, uh, Samsung does have it. So Samsung.com does have it, and you can hit reserve now to reserve it. Uh, so, mm, 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 mm. So somebody say, uh, The Verge said that uh, if you buy it outright, uh, you can get it for $719, and uh, for the 9 Plus, you can get it for $839. So somebody... Somebody saying that there we go, seven hundred and nineteen dollars oh, for the S9. All right, so that's thirty-nine. Okay, there it is. They go to price. There it is, seven hundred nineteen dollars. Now is that that? See, that's on Samsung website. AT&T is selling it for nine hundred and twenty. Not wait. Oh, see, okay, see that's the thing. Not, it, see on the on the Samsung website, you, you see that. Uh, but AT&T obviously is bumping up the price a little bit. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna pay about. Uh, a little higher on, on AT&T and T-Mobile or Verizon, um, you know. So the thing about it is if you buy from Samsung, <clears throat> you have to, I mean, I guess you can still finance it, but you still have to pay up front, right? Because yeah, I don't know yeah. about this finance and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. They have financing available with their own banks. Okay. Now, yeah. uh, Ace, Ace saying front-facing speakers is a game changer. Now, I got plenty of phones that got front-facing speakers. For, I mean, the the listen, the... the uh, I mean, first face of speakers has been out for a while. I mean, y'all know this, right? I mean, the, the Nexus 6 got front facing speakers that sound very good. Uh, so we got a lot of phones that got front facing speakers now. The iPhone got front facing speakers, right? IPhone, yeah. Don't, yeah, the iPhone got front facing speakers. And they're loud as hell. Now, I can tell you between the Nexus 6 and the iPhone 10, that's the loudest speakers I've ever heard so far on all these phones that I got that got uh, front facing speakers. So it would be interesting to hear how the Galaxy S9 uh, speakers sound. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, some people put their Sony Xperia phones got front-facing speakers. So, I mean, this is the first Galaxy device, right, that got front-facing speakers. 
Oh, so somebody said the Razor has a lot of speakers. See, I don't have the Razor phone. Yeah. So somebody exactly. said the Razor phone got the lot of speakers. So, uh, and they got front facing speakers on the Razor phone. So, you know, like I say, it, it's not new. It's not new to Samsung, uh, but it's new for Samsung Galaxy phones to have uh, front facing speakers. I'm so looking at the AR, the AR emoji. Emojis, okay. I felt like they could have done better on the eyebrows because they made everyone look like they kind of had a little bit of alopecia on their eyebrows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like they had like half of an eyebrow. I'm like, could, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at it. That's the gifts. Yeah, that's the gifts. Okay. 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 <laughs> <sighs> this one's... <laughs> <laughs> so um <laughs> I, 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 some of the comments that's coming in uh let's see is timo news is saying that uh, the galaxy s9 is available for 30 dollars a month uh 720 dollars uh, outright also the galaxy uh, s9 plus is available for pre-order 30 dollars a month uh for 840 dollars see alan anthony posted some stuff in the comments uh and so there it is uh so we got 840 dollars well you know that's and that's before tax guys and listen before tax I, when i see 840 dollars i add i add but 70 80 buck tax right because i mean i don't know what state most of the people live in i live in a state that charge tax so when i see a 840 dollar price tag that's over the 900 dollar price point right i mean that's a that's a 900 dollar price point so uh let's see I don't know. The carriers don't seem to be that enthusiastic about the S9 because I'm going to their websites and okay, this now. Okay, here we go. T-Mobile finally got it up. Okay, it's not okay. T-Mobile, but okay, this is Verizon Wireless. Okay, we got the iPhone 8 up and the X. Um, same thing with Sprint. Okay, yes. maybe it's taking their okay, little so time. So T-Mobile just updated their website. Uh, mm -hmm. do, uh, does T-Mobile have any pricing and stuff here? Let me check. They said find out when you or when you can order yours. That's okay. All it says. Okay. They said it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Well, March 16th, right? That's that's the date. March 16th, it will be available in stores. Yeah, that's when it'll be available in stores. Right. Are you gonna get yours through your carrier or you're gonna get yours through Samsung? You know what? I don't know. I mean, I, I've heard uh, through during the keynote address, he did mention that uh that Samsung will have a uh, this type of uh return type policy, right? Which you can trade in a device to get some bucks off. Now I got so many Galaxy devices, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Let's, I've had to see what kind of uh, deal that they're running as far as, you know, if you if you submit a phone, you get four, like you like with the Galaxy Note 8, right? It, I mean, I turned in a, I turned in the old Galaxy S5 or something, right? And yeah. uh, they gave me 400 bucks off, man. So uh, that was pretty cool uh, for the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, let's see what they're going to do about the Galaxy uh, S9. If they do that, I will go through Samsung. If not, I'd, I'd just probably go through a carry real quick if I could get it fast. You know, I don't know. But by the word fast, here's the thing. We did the same stuff last year. If y'all guys remember about the Galaxy S8, we went on and we got this phone fast. Bixby wasn't working and, and, and all the stuff like that. So, um, hey, it is what it is. I, 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 I'm not in a rush. I, I mean, I, I, I probably, I'm not in a rush because obviously, YouTube is already uh, the big YouTube is already posted their videos. Yeah, you know, boxing videos that's already out. We already got we go probably have review uh, videos coming out tonight. So I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, right? I don't know. I mean, I, if, if I get the phone, I, it's no big rush I, because I, all the thing I'm looking at here for the Galaxy S9 is I mean, slow boy at 960 frames. I mean, I, I got that with the Sony phone, so I've already actually I've, I've, I've actually posted a video on my YouTube channel last year uh, using the Sony XZ Premium at 960 frames. So that's 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 nothing new. Uh, emojis, iPhone 10, I got added emojis already. Bixby update that's coming later on this year, so that's not that's that's probably not going to happen at release. Uh, stereo speakers, I mean, I got about 80 phones with stereo speakers, no big deal. Fast wireless charging. The Galaxy S8 already got fast, fast wireless charging. Uh, Iris scan. Galaxy got uh, got Iris scan already. But we don't. I never saw a purple phone before. So uh, the purple phone is something new uh, in my book. Um, I, I don't know what else. What else? What else we didn't cover here? What? What? 
What what else that, that Samsung brought to the table today that uh, we we haven't talked about? Um, I was a little bit confused about the AR. So the people that were at the um, keynote address, did they already have the S9 when they were showing it in their hands? Mm -hmm. Or that was just, or, or was it AR technology? And if it was AR technology, what phones were they using to do the AR technology with a card? Was it with the S8? Well, was see, that's the thing. That, that, that was, that was, that was uh, something strange too, because I, I know in the audience, they were saying, pull out your smartphone. Yeah. And picture of this now that must have with the galaxy s8 because when the camera was showing the person that that had to have been either not s9 or, or s8 i didn't i didn't see no notch i didn't see no iphone so i i don't know uh what phone they was using for the ar uh capability so that had to have been either a s8 yeah. or s9 uh so i don't know i don't know Okay, how about we do, uh, how about we ask everybody here that's in the live stream. If you were impressed with the S9, thumbs up. If you right. weren't impressed, thumbs down. Let's see how many right. thumbs up and thumbs down do we get. Right, so uh, the, the, we, we posed a question. You watched the keto address. Was y'all impressed at the keto address? I didn't I did feel the energy. Uh, yes, no. Listen, you know, people was in people was in the, in a in a crowd like this. I, I don't know, man. He, it's like the the guys, you know, how, how the presenter say something, and he pause, and he's waiting on people to clap, and mm -hmm. you might have heard like two people clap. Yeah. And that's like, wait a minute, man. I was like, wait a minute. I'm, I I did like I said, I didn't feel the energy. I was like, you know how. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a lot of thumbs down. I know, and you know what's so funny about this is that I mean, maybe they missed their coffee this morning. Maybe I'm too hyped up about it. Listen, I'm me. And you is more hyped up than the presenters that was on stage. Yeah. This is the galaxy. It's nine. It's like okay. And everybody looks like thumbs up. It was. It, it's the same. It was the same. Don said uh, thumbs up. Uh, Cliff Peters thumbs up. Uh, D-Pack thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just reserved my Galaxy S9 Plus. I will receive my email to complete my pre-order March 9. I'm crazy pumped. Ace is crazy pumped about it. Obviously, all the Samsung Knights are going to be pumped about it. And I got Samsung Knights here on this stream. I'm going right to get here. it. I, I'm, I'm, I am. I'm going to get it. Um, man, I'm yeah. just, I am just. all I keep thinking about is that camera. Like, oh, come on, please. I hope that they fix the problem with the camera. That's the only thing that I really care about at this point in time. And I, I was hoping that at this, um, at this unpacking that they were going to show it, that they were going to showcase it. I was impressed. I really, I was impressed with the uh, slow motion. I have to yeah. say that. I like that it was thoughtful. The fact that they went, uh, that you could go in reverse. Mm -hmm. I like that, that you can go in reverse. Um, I was impressed with that. I have to say that much. Um, but what I really wanted it to see, they didn't really show it. And then also what I really wanted to hear was the speakers and they didn't really sh have us here as well. So, um, I know some YouTubers already dropped their videos. I haven't seen it yet. I am going to watch it. Uh -huh. And then, um, but I'm still going to get it. I am still going to get it. I, I am happy that um, Samsung is finally doing AR stickers, and I am happy that they actually got together with Disney to make mm -hmm. some AR stickers too. Because I was surprised that Apple didn't do it, or, or you know, hasn't done it. Um, they have some type of stuff, but I, I guess they just been too preoccupied with fixing their bugs that they haven't been able to take the next step with their AR. Yeah, but I am really excited because. You know, there's gonna be girls now that can be princesses, guys now that can be, you know, <laughs> action heroes. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, yeah. because you're gonna be able to animate those. I thought that was a really, really smart move. And did you see Black Panther, Eric? I haven't saw it. I'm gonna see it today. Okay, all right. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything by saying this, but mm -hmm. when I was watching Black Panther, they have a scene in uh, South Korea, and I was Hoping that Samsung was going to be there, but they weren't. So mm. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. They missed an opportunity there. <laughs> so I'm, I, I am happy because I have been wanting them to get into AR technology. So I'm happy that they're taking the, ne the, the next step. But really, right now, the way that we're left is 
We just have to get the phone in our hands. Yeah. And whoever is head of news at Samsung, they <laughs> need to tighten up those leaks. Okay. Like we appreciate like little bits and pieces here, well, they, but yeah. I think that that affected it so much. It really yeah. did. It oh, did. Um, I feel bad because I love Samsung. I really do. And I am somewhat excited for them, but you can tell that they were also a little bit, um, lackluster to themselves so yeah. i mean i mean I, let's, let's let's be real this all right so this kind of remind me of maybe a couple of years at an apple keynote address when they kind of uh released the s model i mm -hmm. mean the s model like yeah you know we improved this we improved that uh you know no big deal it's kind of remind me of an apple keynote address when they they, they talk about the s model you know uh that uh the kind of updated from the the, the regular model to the S model. I don't know. I mean, look, going from going from the Galaxy S7 to the mm -hmm. Galaxy S8 was a huge difference. I mean, it was it was big. Yeah. It was big, right? But going from the Galaxy S8 to the Galaxy S9, I don't know, man. But I mean, I, I think that hold on. I think that that's how it should be though. Right. It's right, like if every time you make a major change that's you know that's a little bit too much because then they won't be able so i think that it is good that they kind of keep the same design because that way they can just focus on um the software and making things better but that's just the thing it's like we're just not really sure because they didn't really deliver it in the um in the in the unpacking yeah you know i'm sure that there are people who came out with their videos and and stuff like that. I'm gonna check it out. But you know, if 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 Samsung didn't give me the hype, you know what 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 else is next? So, yeah. well, let's so uh, let's talk about this, right? Dex, I I actually like this Dex, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so Samsung changed it a little bit. Samsung came out with a different type of Dex. Uh, it kind of remind me of of, of Windows Continuum. If y'all watch my videos, I made videos about Continuum, where you plug uh, the, uh, the the cord up to the uh, USB Type C uh, to your TV, right? To the Continuum box to the TV, and you can use your phone as a mouse and to type. Yeah. Now this is the, what the new Dex is doing, right? The new Dex, you plug your phone into the Dex, and you can use the phone as a mouse and the keyboard. Yeah. Now with the current Dex, now with the current Dex. What I like about the current Dex is that you got a fan, you got your peripherals at the back, and but you do need external keyboards and mouse uh, to 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 work with this Dex, uh, and but you can use your camera with this Dex, yeah. uh, and uh, so what are your thoughts about that? Because I, I didn't I didn't care too much about Continuum because I don't like to use the phone as a mouse and a keyboard, so I, you yeah. still could get you can still could put Bluetooth mouse and keyboards on here. But I'm gonna tell you, Dex to me is I love Dex. Dex yeah. is a game changer to me. Uh, that's why I got to keep Galaxy phones yeah. <laughs> because I got like six of these, and I probably won't get the new Dex. I don't know. I mean, I got I mean, I got six of these already, so it don't make no sense for me to buy six new Dex. So I'm gonna if if the Galaxy S9 is compatible, and I hope it's listen, Samsung better not screw me over with this. The, the Galaxy S9 better be compatible with this Dex. I got six of them. All right. If not, then I'm gonna be very upset. No, I think it still will be. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Type C. It should still be compatible. I don't see that being a problem. Okay. Um, they didn't really talk about like the ports, the ports that it comes with. I think it comes with the same ports. The same I mean, you ports. Can, so the, yeah, I think you can, really didn't get into it. Um, but. Okay, I can see the value in using it as a mouse and a keyboard, um, but I really don't think that it's going to be productive. And I'll say why. Because everyone complains about how much of a fingerprint magnet the screen is. Right. It's like you're going to be dirtying your screen the whole time you're using it. Uh, I can see it better being used for if you had the S Pen, and then you could right. use the pen to, to navigate. Right. But using it on the S9, I can see how you're going to kind of wear the oleophobic coating right. on the screen. I can well, see that happening from using it too much and dragging it around. So yeah. that's going to be my concern. 
Yeah. What I wish that I could do more with uh, Dex would be the camera, would, to, would be to be able to use the camera yeah. while you're using Dex, because then you can use Skype and stuff like that. Um, obviously you can attach a Bluetooth keyboard and there's Bluetooth keyboards that already have a trackpad on the side. Right. And it's um it's more productive anyways using it that way because you can feel the physical the physical keys right. and you're not you're less prone to making mistakes. Right. So and, you, you yeah. know, let, let me ask you this question here. Uh and you write talking about decks because with the old decks, once you put the decks in, you can actually do a lot of Skype calls with this. Yes. With the new decks, it's flat. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Let me I, tell you what I do. What oh. I when I use decks, so this is the um SMOS decks, right? Okay. I have this um USB type C, right? And I connect it that way, and then I dock it, right? Uh -huh. And then I'm able to use the back facing camera or the front facing camera. Okay. And I use it on the I just put it up on my monitor. And I just use it that way, or I can use the decks, you know. Um, right. You know. But I find that the SMOS decks is better because um, it doesn't have this thing blocking it. Okay. You know? So I have more real estate, more freedom. This is a little bit more smaller, right? Okay. Right. So right. Um, I, I hope that with the next design, they would think more about being able to use your camera while you're using Dex, because then it would really be able to replace a laptop. Yeah. Then it would really be able to replace a tablet if you could use uh, Dex while you're using your camera. Right. Well, let me ask, a, 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 answer a question. Sean in the, in the, the comments asked the question of why do I have six uh, Dex? I, so I have two, two at home and four businesses. Uh, so that's why I got set deck, six decks. I got one here in the studio, one in my living room, because uh, I like the big 60-inch TV and I like to do some work on. And also uh, at my locations, uh, at, at my business, I got decks that I use uh, to get work done. I saw Excel spreadsheets, doing my payroll, because uh, I use decks uh, and I don't use a PC yeah. uh, because I can get Excel spreadsheets done. Uh, I can get uh, all kinds of work done uh, via decks. So... Uh, to kind of answer Sean's question there, uh, that's what that's what did that. Uh, somebody says 720p in slow mo. You know what? I think that's what it uh, was. I think slow motion is 720p at 960 frames, and I think that's the that that was the uh, the Sony XZ Premium also was in 720p. Okay. At so you can't frames. even use the 4K. Well, not at not at 960 frames. Oh, nah. Okay. Yeah. No, you can't do 4K at 960 frames. Uh, and like I say, in the beginning of the show, I, I just want to make sure everybody understand that Samsung is not the first device that's doing 960 frames. All right. The Sony XE Premium way back in early 2017 uh, with the XE Premium had 960 frames. So that's that's nothing new. Uh, but I, I'm pretty interested to see how this do aperture works. Because now you got the cameras is going to be, you know, changing aperture. Now this is this is something DSLRs and stuff like this. This is interesting here, because here's the problem that I that that I my concern. I go say problem. I don't have the phone. Here's my concern this about is my dear aperture. Phone Samsung. Right. This is my concern about do aperture. Are we going to have focusing issues? This, these are the problems that I'm thinking about. Now, as far as still footage, I, I can yeah. see it working fine. But as far as video, I don't know if it's going to be able to go into do aperture more than video. I don't, yeah. I don't, uh, that's that's going to be very interesting to see if video, uh, it's probably not going to work on video. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's, I, I, I don't think it's going to be changing apertures as you move it along, like it may be a lighting scenario and maybe go indoors with a little low light scenario. Is it going to change aperture uh, as you're recording? And if so, how's the focusing? It's it? supposed to because they have, they said that they now have uh, like a dedicated processor for the camera. Right. Okay. So it's supposed to be able to do that uh, with the sensors. So, but again, this is all in theory. We'll see. Okay. See, this is what um was kind of disappointing about the the uh, the event was that they showed a box and they yeah. made it white, and then they showed the box and they made it black. 
But like, right. why couldn't you just show me live and the camera how it would work? Yeah. So well, that that's what makes me a little bit, you know, apprehensive. <sighs> I, I it's like I'm just like I'm crossing my fingers, but I'm not holding my breath. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I I I, I, I don't, listen. The, the thing about it is, the whole key to the dress about cameras, and cameras has been my pitiful issue with Samsung is the cameras. As my, as many tech reviews, a lot of people be saying that the cameras are king supreme. Me and a lot of smaller YouTubers beg to differ because we've been talking about the cameras on Samsung devices for a long time. I know I, for personally having the Galaxy S, uh, uh, the Galaxy S8 Active that I just I have reviewing it, just got it from T-Mobile, got the same problems as every Galaxy phone has. So with the Galaxy S9, with the with the uh, aperture changing and all that stuff like that, are they willing? Are they fixing the the, uh, the focusing issues? Now, a lot of people been speculating that that uh, the these cameras is made in house. Uh, I don't know what what your thoughts about that. Uh, you think you really do think that uh, that these cameras gonna be fixed? <sighs> okay, so this is the thing. It's supposed to be all about camera. And what is it about a camera than any other type of sensories? Seeing is believing. And the problem is that with this um, unpacking event, they really didn't show a lot. Yeah. And so if you're going to focus on the camera, if you're going to focus on detail, why don't you show me? Don't tell me. Show me. It's like they're leaving the show for the YouTubers. Yeah and not for themselves. So, you know, right now we're talking about this and we're mainly going off of the leaks that have happened and we're going off of the um, event, right. all right? Well, I haven't yet seen any videos from YouTubers or anything like that. I am definitely gonna watch it, but that's where it just makes me a little bit um, worried because they didn't show a lot. I wanted them to show me. It's like, I, you know, I've seen their, their renderings, their commercials, their yeah. everything, but I want you to show me, and they yeah. didn't. So yeah. yeah. Well, one of the questions I do have, right? You know, uh, as we talking about the the keynote address was not not too hyped up. Like, I mean, we got all this hype leading up to this. Like, the big a lot of YouTubers hyping this up. The publications hyping this up. Viewers are hyping this up. Talk about the, the Galaxy S nine gonna be the best thing, and then we get to the keynote address is like. Wow, like no, no, you didn't get that that uh, ugh, you didn't get that enthusiastic. But um, I, I just I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, and after I, this, I'm gonna watch some videos and I'm gonna see um, people using the camera in action. Yeah. I mean, you know, that person they were they the only like the only time they showed them using the camera in action was for the slow mo. But again, that like people are saying that was only 720p. So then we really can't. You know, uh, we can't we can't tell. Yeah. What well, the, the the question is again? The, the keynote address they didn't talk about a lot of details, right? Did they talk about uh, are we getting 128 gig variant? Right? There was speculation they were supposed to get 100. We didn't get the, we didn't get the answer to the question. They didn't even talk about the they didn't even talk about the chipset, right? They didn't say Snapdragon 845. They didn't say mm -hmm. X processor. They didn't talk about that. They didn't talk about the storage. They didn't talk about that. They, they, they didn't listen. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, they didn't even tell you what megapixel camera it is. Even though they talked about the camera for 45 minutes, they didn't tell you it was a 12 megapixel camera. So, I mean, we really don't know, right? I yeah. mean, we don't know if you get 128 gigs. We don't even, well, we, we know about the price right now. Yeah. But we don't know about if, if we get 128 gigs or 500, people say 512 uh, gigs. We yeah. don't know that. With Samsung didn't even talk about that. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah. Alan Anthony said the 128 gigabyte is available to order in the UK right now. Oh, OK. That's good. Mm. Has has there a, that's usually left for like the Emperor edition that's in China. Yeah. yeah. But not were those ever available in the UK? I don't know. I don't know. I know in the United States and where everybody know this in the United States, we always get the 64 gigabyte variant. Yeah. Right. Well, on the site, when you go into pre-order, they don't show the 128 variant. They don't? Mm -mm. No, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Sure. Okay, so here we are. 
um, on the site, right? And then you can hit reserve now. And these okay. are the only two that they have. Yeah. Yeah. So if you click on the, uh, if you click on one of them, it, does it give you uh, the, the details? No, it just tells me which one unlocked. Oh. Mm. Okay. So, well, at least you get, okay. Oh, trading. Oh, trading your own phone. Hey, click on, uh, I don't know, which Apple. One? Click on Apple to see how much we can trade our iPhone 10 for. Let's see, iPhone X. Three hundred and fifty dollars. That's good. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Sounds like good. Bought it for three hundred and fifty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh okay. My and oh then my. so is the eight. It's also three fifty. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. The six is one fifty. Oh All right. God. Let's go back. Oh. Um, <laughs> And then let's choose Samsung. Samsung. S8 is worth three fifty. What? Yeah, <laughs> we got spoiled last year. <laughs> yeah, look, we got look the, 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 the Galaxy S8 active. active. The active is three fifty. Same price as the. Okay, what? And you, okay. And you know that the Galaxy S8 active is eight hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> All right. This is one fifty. One fifty. What is that? Crash screens. screens. What if you have the Note 7? Can you get <laughs> What if you sell the Note 7? <laughs> oh my god. Right, so let me go back again. Uh let's see the LG 300 for the LG V30. Oh no, they don't even going 350 for the LG V30. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my God! So if you got an LG V30, if you want to trade it, you just go only go get three hundred bucks. But how much did you pay for? Like how much would a person? Oh, the, oh, the, the, the LG V30 is eight hundred fifty plus dollars. That's almost a nine hundred dollar phone. Yeah. Okay. Gee. Let's see the Pixel. Oh, the Pixel. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even giving you three fifty for it. That the Pixel costs almost a thousand bucks, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that is a huge ripple. Well, I mean, it definitely shows what Samsung thinks is worth. <laughs> um, oh my god. I'm not even sure if it's really worth trading. Yeah, now yeah, we're trading can't the carrier yet. This is coming yeah. soon, all of them. Oh my god. You can only get the unlock. Oh I'm gonna get me the lilac purple just because it's so close to being pink. Mm. You, you click on other phones. All other phones. Fifty dollars. <laughs> oh my Dang. god! Oh my god! Oh in. man! All right, so if I got to make ten, if I got to make ten, <laughs> I can trade the Samsung, and they go give me fifty bucks for it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh man! Oh wow! That is that is. Oh man! That, uh, oh. Everybody's <laughs> trying to figure out where you get the 128. Get, I'm trying well, to figure that out too. Where you well, get that? Not not the United States because look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Once you click on once you click on Samsung.com, it knows your uh, geographical location. Yeah, because it says that. Yeah, you right. yeah. So it's U.S. So in the U.S., we're not getting 128 gig variants. That's gonna be 64 gigs. Are uh, you uh, probably let's see what happens if I click UK here? UK. Look. Look. All right. Um, that's the UK. Okay, pre-order now. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, oh. yeah. You get the 128 we gigs. We don't even not, have the option. We, yeah, that's right. We're not even getting the 128 gigs in the United States, folks. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> you're not getting. A, listen, you're not. We're not getting 128 gigs in the United States, folks. You're only getting 64 gigs. That's it. That's messed up. Wait, what's Canada? It would be CA, right? Yeah. C A. Yay. Wow. They don't even they're not even showing the S9 here. Where okay. Yeah. Can I, uh, this is the got the S8. Okay. Yeah, I just got the S8. It doesn't have the S9. That's my stop. <laughs> it's something to Canadian. <laughs> First of all, they charge them so much money. I know. <laughs> last one's supposed something up on them. That's messed up. Come oh, on, Samsung. Who better? 
Hey man, I'm laughing because we we we've been hearing about the 128 gigabyte, and I keep saying this, folks. In the United States, man, we only get 60. The reason why we get 64 gigabyte variant is because of the price. Yeah. Then, then listen, the, the 128 gig variant is going to cost over the thousand dollar price point, and that's why they don't want it. They figure SD card support. That's it. I, it if you want the 128 gig variant, you might have to get oh it off God, eBay. Look at this guy's finger. He does not need to do much to press that camera. Yeah, that's that's real close. No, I'm worried now. Yeah, <laughs> it is close. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm so worried now. Yeah, that's close because you can still touch that camera lens. Let me see if it actually shows him. Oh wait, hold on. I don't want to get demonetized. Forget yeah, it. Yeah, might get. Yeah, I get. Get demonetized and throw it off the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh my god, look at that. <laughs> that is close. Yeah, that is so yeah, close. So you go have go have. It's definitely go. more flushed though. I'll say that, but dad. Yeah, you still go touch that camera lens. I didn't listen. I don't know they why. Just I can't win. I, Samsung, I, I, Samsung just can't win. I, yeah, I mean, I just I just don't understand why Samsung just don't put it. Like right there, bring it down. Like mm -hmm. put it there. Why is it so close to the camera? Just put yeah. it down there. I, 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 you know, because that's the same thing with the with the S eight, right? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me pull this out of the case. The S eight. I mean, it's. I mean, it's like the same distance from the camera, mm -hmm. but it's put down here, right? Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we still gonna have that problem. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm. I'm gonna let you talk for a second. I gotta go to the boys' room. Okay. I'm gonna keep the camera on you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually gonna uh, read people's comments. That I think that you know everybody has some really cool things to say here. So let's bring it on over to the comments section. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Shame on Samsung. LOL. Yes. Canada prices are like $1,000. Yes, they are, Jason Joe. Uh, Sean Vega Velez says, I'm ready to hear more about the BlackBerry, Moto, Nokia, and Sony. I'm over Samsung. I know. I kind of feel the same way, too. It's like they came out with it. You know, what's next now? Um, we're not really going to know until people actually have the devices in their hands. Uh, Martyr Ingram said, used to be an Android guy, switched to iPhone, hoping the S9 plus can bring me back do you martyrian are you gonna get it or are you gonna pass i'd like to know lamar said just put it back on the front yeah i know right you just put it back on the front i have my note seven and i love it let me scroll back up here to the comment section sounds like there isn't much to say troll bait yeah that's very true tech couple and then they're talking about the may 10 how you can use it with a cord, which is true. You can use it, you can use it with a cord, but uh, with the Samsung, you can't get into Dex with just a HDMI cord, unless it's like one of those, um, uh, the ones that you can use with um, the Switch, like one of those types, then you'll be able to use it. All right, so. This is everyone's thumbs down. So here we go. There were more thumbs down than there were thumbs up. My favorite ones was the okays. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm there. That's that's me. That's how I feel. I'm right there. I'm with the okie dokies right now. All right now. So March 16th, I reserved my S9 Coral Blue, but I was not impressed by the conference. I feel you, Deepak Murthy, because I'm going to do the same thing, too. I'm going to get mine, but am I, like, gung-ho? No, not really. Jason says, I'll wait to see what it's like versus the Pixel. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of videos that, that have already came out, so we'll see what it is. Yeah. Because I'm getting it as a techie. It just doesn't seem like I have uh, to have a lot, but the camera is the truth. So we shall see. Yeah. That's, that's true. <clears throat> that's very true. So I was just reading people's comments. You know, okay. they have a lot of things to say. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the, the thing about it is uh, we, we just we just talking about it, picking it apart and see what we like and didn't like about it. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be an OK device. Yeah. Uh, so far, what we've seen is an incremental update. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and look, <clears throat> don't don't get me wrong. The, the the Galaxy Samsung phones is good. All right. Um, I'm not I'm not worried as far as the the, the the hoopla as far as Samsung selling devices. They're gonna sell a boatload of these things. Yeah, they are. It's just it's just, it's just us techies. We just I don't know. I, I just feel that this is the year that Samsung probably taking a break. Like you know, uh, we already got the S8. It's already good. We already innovated. We're just gonna take and and kind of make it a little better. That's because they got a little too cocky with that with the fingerprint sensor. Yeah, like, nah, we're gonna put in the most inconvenient place so you can use the iris scanner and the face ID. Well, not the face ID, the picture whatever scanning thingy. That's not all the way like face ID. They're like, yeah, we'll put the fingerprint scanner in the most inconvenient place because we know when the S9 comes out that the fingerprint sensor is gonna be on the display. <laughs> And it's not even, and it's like there's rumors now that it's not even going to be there for the Note Nine. Yeah, like, I don't think the oh, Note. That's 9. so heartbreaking. Yeah. Now nah, the Note Nine is not going to have a fingerprint scan uh, underneath the glass. They they already say now that uh, maybe uh, in, in 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 the next the, the uh, what it is the uh, Galaxy S10 mm -hmm. will probably be um, you know the fingerprint scanner underneath the glass. Now we're gonna have devices that come out this year with fingerprint scanners underneath the glass, and we already got one. Yeah. So uh, they're gonna have phones with fingerprint. And look, hey, you never know. One Plus might do it. You know, they always come out with all this craziness, right? Yeah. I mean, I would be surprised if the One Plus Six S, but well, what is Six Six T Six T? I yeah. would be I, I I would be surprised that the 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 six T have the fingerprint scan underneath the glass uh, with with um, ten gigs of RAM because we hear rumors ten gigs of RAM now. So uh, I don't. Know. I like a big <laughs> tag. He said that conference was more quiet than a funeral service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like I, I I'm I'm sitting up there. We we watching this keynote address, and I was like, okay. I, I'm hearing people like. I don't even know no nobody no nobody in the audience kind of participating. I mean, you know, after the presenter, he paused. He waiting on a huge clap, and it's like he paused, and you don't hear nobody clapping. Then all of a sudden, you hear one person clap. <laughs> yeah. And DJ D, DJ Cole, like he stood there for a minute after showing the phone, yeah. and people clapped, <laughs> and then they stopped clapping, and he stayed there and yeah. nobody was clapping. And then he goes, "Thank you." Yeah, <laughs> after like a whole minute. Yeah, I did. That's right. He did. He said that he said that and had the phone in his hand. But I know <laughs> that they were taking pictures of him. But it's like you would have thought the audience would have still kept pla clapping for him. Yeah, and look, it was so it was it, it was it was so funny, right? You know, like you you present the new this is guy and nine and everybody like, ah! and like people like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I did don't Apple pay people to clap. I mean, Samsung could have paid the whole front row, like, yeah, I they know, could've, right? <laughs> they could have bought their employees or something there, uh, maybe uh, some retail store employees. Like, listen, y'all want that bonus? Y'all better get up, clap, and jump <laughs> off of joy. When I, <laughs> you know I mean? <laughs> it felt more like you went into a business conference than an unpacked event. That's yeah. what it was. It was more like a business conference. You know, the CEO is up there. You're not yeah. sure if you should be elated or not. So <laughs> I think that the general consensus is after watching the Unpacked event, we're kind of like middle of the road, so-so. We're going to, everybody has to watch videos now from, from YouTubers to see, to get that real full effect. And then even after watching those videos, just because everyone, you know, is not is can't always just go based off of the promotional, you yeah. know, the people that were paid off. Yeah. <laughs> then people are gonna have to buy it and have it in their hands just to make a decision. So the thing about what they say about business is when you create a product, you always create a product that someone needs, right? Yeah. But people usually buy what they want. Yeah. Yeah. And what you need to do is to make sure that the product that someone needs now becomes a want. And I'm not at the want yet. 
I'm at the, I need this because I'm a techie and I need to review this, but I'm not at the point where I want this because I need to have it in my life. So I'm just yeah. keeping it real. I'm just being 100% <laughs> honest. I'm at the need point because I'm going to create tutorials and play around with it and, you know, stuff like that, but I'm not at the want section. Yeah. I, 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 I can tell you, I'm, I'm looking at it like this, right? Uh, Uno Nice said, uh, the crowd audience, keeping it real, no fluff, no passes, one <laughs> A plus to the crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true. Real hey, nice the crowd. So, I mean, I look at it like this. Now, Apple events, I remember the last Apple event, it, it, I, I kind of recall, when they announced the price of the iPhone 10, oh, you heard a lot of clapping. Yeah! I'm yeah. like, oh, Apple that paid off a lot of people, $999. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I mean, you heard a lot of clapping, like at WWDC and at the, the, the keynote addresses for Apple or yeah. the whole front row. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, they'd be pumped up and cranked. They'd be like, damn, boy, how much money they paid that front row? <laughs> <laughs> They would have only needed to pay me like fifty dollars, and I would have been like, <laughs> back in my days when I lived in New York, I used to, uh, I used to go to uh, Total Request Live. I don't know if you remember that show, when mm -hmm. the people like they would show music videos and stuff. And I've been to Total Request Live. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so all they have to do is just pay me fifty dollars. <laughs> so, in your opinion, the, the 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 crowd didn't was enthusiastic. Yeah. A because they already know about the phone, the leaks already, the renders, the mm -hmm. the uh the yeah. price, the cameras, uh the, the storage options, everything has been leaked out about this device. So it, it wasn't nothing that they haven't saw. Yeah. All right. Uh uh they, so I think what this keynote address did was uh when they showcased some things, it wasn't like we haven't saw it already. The leaks and everything about this phone has been out, right? Yeah. So it it, it I mean it wasn't I think what we was looking for is something else. Like Samsung should have said, This is the Galaxy X, right? I mean, just pop out of nowhere and come up with a Galaxy S. X, right and something new because the galaxy s9 has been out guys it's been rendered everything all the details the boxes everything been leaked out and i think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people was in the audience was not enthusiastic. yeah it's, it's the like audience. these ndas don't mean anything anymore yeah yeah because the NDAs 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 <laughs> yeah, we see is there, there a leak closet is there a leak loophole that we don't know about that it's so funny because when I'm on the NDA, right, I, I'm like, uh, I got my video ready and I'm waiting on the, the date that it get lifted so I can post my video, right? But I'm saying to myself, man, these guys on the NDA, they don't care anymore. They just post videos, uh, leak videos, just like we saw the uh, the leak video of the OnePlus 5T. Yeah. Uh, we saw that video came out like uh, two days or one day before the phone even got announced. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, we we got the a lot of YouTubers that uh, get these phones under NDA. I, I'm one of them included. That sometimes I don't know they 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 release the video man and it, it's it's insane. Just like we saw a Reddit user that had the phone for 45 minutes and it had a Reddit post of yeah, all the I details of the phone. So it, and I think that's why the crowd wasn't wasn't enthusiastic because we already saw everything. Yeah, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean. I don't know. It just listen. The, here's the thing: the same thing gonna happen with the Galaxy Note Nine. By the way, folks. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look, everything about the Galaxy Note Nine is gonna be leaked. The body style, the everything. So when the keynote address comes, people are gonna be like, "Oh, well, I didn't saw all this before." And I think that's the same thing that's gonna happen. I think Samsung need to take, take do a tight lip on the on the Note Nine. I mean, they shouldn't release any any renders. The leaks need to be tight. Uh, I mean, you know, Apple does this, does a very good job yeah, they do. with leaks. I mean, even Apple can't stop leaks, but gee whiz, man, Samsung just let it all out the bag this year. Mm -hmm. uh, man, let's see. Uh, they should have some down gold pose on stage. <laughs> yeah, Lamar, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it, it would have been nice. I'm serious. Like, mm -hmm. 
If Samsung would have would have would have knocked it out the park, would have shocked everybody if they would have bought a mystery box on stage and they would have unveiled a new Samsung phone, a butterfly phone, or something, a new mm -hmm. tablet or something. Because all the renders and leaks and everything about the Galaxy S9 has already been out, so it should have been something. And maybe they should have had a, a, a poll on stage or something. Uh, it it might have could have woke the crowd up. Yeah. Or something. Maybe but it wasn't really their day either because you know it is. Um, uh, what's that acronym again? MWC? Yeah, it is MWC. Yeah, so like it really wasn't like their day, it wasn't like their whole day, it was just only for like an hour. So, and they're releasing this phone earlier than they usually do, right? But they don't they usually do it in April? <clears throat> Yeah, well, April. yeah, I think so. But at the end of the day, the Galaxy S series is their bread and butter. This yeah. is this is day series. This is the device that's going to carry them for 2018, right? Yeah. This is it. So a lot of people, uh, this is their flagship because everybody think that the Galaxy Note device is the flagship. That's not. The, yeah. the S series is the flagship. This is the, 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 because a lot of people don't use the S Pen. So the Galaxy Note is for a particular different user. So the S series is the flagship. This is yeah. 2018 flagship. This is what's going to carry Samsung for 2018. This is the supposed to be the best of the best of Samsung right here today. Um, Martyr Ingram actually posed a question earlier. Uh -huh. um, are there any gifts with pre-ordering? I didn't see any. No I'm, I'm checking out their site. Um, you know, and nothing, nothing, nothing. They, they no, were, gifts. no gifts, no gifts, nothing. Not that Samsung going back to the old Samsung. They ain't, yeah, listen, you put, Dad, pay we your, got spoiled. Your, I know, pay you 800, oh. 900 bucks, and that's it. That's it. You got spoiled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see, the, the S8, the S7 came out in March. Uh, they're pushing the release back for the S8. They want to get it out early. They want it. I mean, yeah. look, look, here's the thing. The, the 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 for we've been hearing rumors that uh, the iPhone 10 has hurt Samsung sales, right? I don't believe that, but that's what that's what we hear, right? That Apple have stole the thunder from Samsung. I don't believe that because the iPhone 10 has a share of issues too. Mm. But I, Samsung uses it, it. Everybody that's in the um, in the Android space, I don't think Apple had anything to do with if if if. Samsung is down in sales and Samsung is losing their thunder. I don't think so. I think that uh, you got other choices, right? I mean, I mean, you got Motorola. I mean, you got, I don't know. I mean, you got other phones that's trying to make a den. I mean, the V30, the Pixel. I don't know. I don't know. Big Miss Tech said, did you see Motorola's response to Samsung on YouTube? They came out with a 17-second video saying, Better doesn't always cost more. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Hey, so. shout out to yeah, Greg TikTok. I feel, though. I feel I feel sad. Yes. Shout out to Craig uh, uh TikTok. Uh he's in a building. Uh hey, Sales makes a lot of money from uh, Galaxy uh, uh, iPhone iPhone X because of the screens. Screens ain't free, yeah. Well, they, they got that billion dollar contract with Apple, uh, you know. But the Apple going with LG, so let's see what that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm looking at this keynote address. It, I mean, it was hype leading up to today. Everywhere you talked about it, it was hype, hype, hype. Ah, Galaxy S9, the nine, the nine. This was a hype day, hype day. Walk off stage when the people walk across stage, everybody would Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And people walk off stage, this Galaxy that nine. And it's like, okay, <laughs> nobody clap. <laughs> I talked about this last night, man. We was having so much fun last night. Yeah, it was. And uh, it's like last night, it was like, I'm talking about this, like, oh man, y'all get ready. I'll be live streaming. This is going to be some fun. Let's see, uh, maybe the 845 and 6 gigs of RAM Oreo uh, uh, might be butter. I hope so. Oh, yeah. I actually dropped a video of my, Gal of my Galaxy S8 stress test video yesterday, the VIP section. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, 
if, if y'all part of the VIPs, I dropped that video yesterday of my stress test because I, I made a video of the Motorola X4. And at the end of that video, I pull out the Galaxy S8 and all of a sudden it, did, it was stuttering and hiccuping like doing this. So a lot of people hit me in the comments and say, hey, do a stress test video of the Galaxy S8. And I did it. I mean, look, I just pulled it out, started working with it, did the same same stress test that I did with the Motorola X4. And the, it was it's like, it's like night and day. So for all the VIPs that saw that video, y'all see my pain. Y'all see my pain. Y'all feel my pain. Y'all feel my pain. So, uh, yeah, let's see. They, uh, let's I'm see. checking out. I, I was checking out to see the price on the decks, but they don't even have the decks on their site. Uh -oh. I'll uh -oh. show you. Uh oh. See, they have the old decks on here. <laughs> so, uh -oh. so uh -oh. I go over here, right? Uh huh. There's nothing for decks, right? So I just type decks over here. Mm hmm. And this is what it gives me. It doesn't even show me the new decks. It's like mm. they weren't ready. They weren't ready. Hmm. They weren't ready, you know, to, to give us the business. Well, I think uh, is the decks uh, kind of uh, catered towards enterprise. Yeah, but, but you yeah, would think that they would show be. where you but could order. The same thing that happened last year. The decks didn't come out till late. Yeah, it's true. The decks didn't come out till late. Yeah, the decks didn't come out till late. I mean, it, it came out about you know a month or two, but they gave us a free. Wait, was it the decks was like half price or something? I don't know. Yeah, don't know. no, the decks. Yeah, it was a hundred dollars, so it was like one uh, two thirds of the price because it was like one fifty. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm. Somebody said, "Damn, my uh, note hasn't uh, gotten any love." Uh, and it has six gigs of RAM. Where is Oreo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and look, and here's the thing. It's for everybody, all the, 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 the Samsung fans out there. Once you, uh-oh, look at Siri. There goes Siri. Siri, there goes Siri. <laughs> there goes Siri. There goes Siri. I don't know what she, she always listening. Uh, oh, she said hello. I but no, for all, the, all the Samsung <laughs> fans that's out there, yeah, no, she's serious. Uh, all the Samsung fans out there, you understand that once you get Oreo 8.0, that's gonna be it for 2018. You won't get no updates until next year. Yeah, right. That that's mm -hmm. how Samsung roll. You know, um, if you already own the S8, S8 Plus, a Note 8. Uh, don't waste your money on the S9. That's Ryan in the building. He just said that. And the thing about it is we've seen some uh, price drops on the Galaxy S8, and we've seen some price drops on the Galaxy Note 8. So you look at, I think somebody posted something on Twitter saying that you could get a Galaxy Note 8 for like 400 bucks uh, with a trade-in. Right? So 400 bucks for a Galaxy Note 8 or a Galaxy S9. I, I don't know. I, I think I would go with Note 8. With a trading of what? Well, for for Pixel or something, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're gonna take a OnePlus device or anything. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> yes, uh, 720 at 960 frames per second. Uh, yes, I, it's, I think it's 720. 720 at 960 frames per second for the slow mo. Uh, so it, yes, let's see, 350 dollars. Let's see, somebody, uh, Tim in the text here, he brought uh, $350 with a trade in, and you get a set of Icon X. That was the deal that I saw. You get a $350 trade in, uh, $350 trade in, and you get the Icon X for the, for the Note 8. You mean that's $350 good, off with a trade in? Yeah, yeah that, that's a damn good deal for Note mm -hmm. 8. I would go Note 8 if, in my opinion, and uh, yeah, I actually I want them. I actually want the blue Note 8. You know what? What ticks me off, folks, when the Galaxy Note 8 came out in the United States, we was only get we only got one color. And I uh it burns me up. And now the, the beautiful blue color is out. Mm -hmm. And oh man, it's just one of those things. But yeah, but what you got there? That's ATT? Yeah, that's this one's ATT. You okay. still can't pre-order. It says, Oh, pre-order begins March 2nd at midnight. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, you got the you, you got a week before you can pre order. Yeah. The phone don't come out to the 16th, you might as well wait. Yeah, but I thought they would like you know ship it out early, how they did with the note eight. Mm. 
Well, that's I mean, with these other sites and what Verizon, the, the, I mean, the, the S9, if, no, 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 I mean, no love for that S9. If you pre order on the second, I mean, you'll get the phone at what, maybe a few days before release? Yeah. Yeah. $930 on ATT, that's what they're saying. Oops. It's a $1,000 phone, $915 on Verizon Wireless. And that's before tax, by the way. I always say before tax. People got to understand. $930 where I live at, it's a thousand dollars, man. I mean, they, they, they I, I see people always argue me down. Easy, why you keep on saying the phone costs a thousand dollars? Because at nine hundred and thirty dollars plus tax, it's a thousand dollars. Limited <laughs> and, offer. You get fifty percent off the Galaxy S9 after whoa. 24 month bill credit when you trade in DAG. Your eligible device. If you oh. cancel wireless service, credit stop remaining on the balance is due. <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is. So you get so you gotta I, have a two-year contract. Yes, there it is. You gotta pay 24 months. Dang. Yeah, you gotta pay 24 months. 24 months on that on that bad boy. That's not bad if you can get 50% off, but you gotta trade in the phone, right? Yeah. With what phones they, oh look at the specs. Let's look at the specs. Yeah. They, they didn't talk about the specs. All right, so here we go, guys. 6.2 inch. Uh, QHD Super oh, this, this is the nine. This is the plus. Everybody right. look at the plus. Yes, everybody look at the plus. Here we got the uh, dual yeah. 12 megapixel cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Oreo. We got eight megapixel cameras. So the cameras don't change, right? As far mm -hmm. as Apple, I mean, uh, megapixels. You got the Qualcomm 845 IPS 68. You get six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs. Look, you see that? 64 gigs of internal storage. That's what I'm saying, folks. Yeah. And look at the Ooh, you know 400 what? expandable memory. Yeah, but they didn't talk about the battery life on this keynote address. Oh no. my god, it's, the, just... it's probably going to be the same. They haven't. They probably haven't made any changes to the um, to the battery. I like right. how they put non removable. Yeah. Okay, we know that hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, so there it is, guys. That's the specs. Uh, and uh, this is 12... for the S nine. If anybody's oh. wondering, as a smaller battery. Oh, uh, 3,000. Yeah. And you only get 64 gigs of storage. So people that's put in the comments saying about the 128 gigabyte, not in the United States. It no. ain't going to happen in the United States, guys. No. Yeah. So unless you like order it from the UK and have it shipped to you. Yeah. Right. But I mean, how much that go cost to ship you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's a lot of money. Yep. 60, 64 gigs of storage, guys. So uh, a lot of people kept on putting in the comments, I want the 128. I want the 128. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah, but yesterday the live stream, a lot of people were saying they wouldn't have gotten the one twenty eight. What happened from yesterday till today? <laughs> I did it for twenty four hours. I saw so many thumbs down yesterday. Yeah. Like I'm not getting the one twenty eight. That's funny. And I was like, <laughs> I wonder how much, how many pounds it is in the UK. Let me check it out. How many pounds it is in the UK for the um for the one twenty eight very young. Mm -hmm. Oh, summary, eight eight hundred and sixty nine dollars, mm. and the this one's seven hundred. All right, so let me let me ask Google. Google. <laughs> what is it? One thirty. One sixty nine. One sixty nine pounds. Wait, wait, that's 869. Yeah, 869. Sorry. Oh, okay. Pounds in dollars. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So the phone could cost 1200 bucks, and that's before tax? That's before tax. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, that that's higher than the iPhone, right? Is it the iPhone was like close to two thousand? Uh, and the, the, that's the uh, that's Canadian or that's uh, UK? That's you. That's UK. Oh, okay. Oof. Yeah, UK. No, the, there's nothing for Canada yet. Okay. When I checked the Canada, they were still showing the S eight. Let me see if that if they updated their site. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's it. still so nothing. What? Canada might have to wait because for that yeah. high price point. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. Or Canada. <laughs> 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 
Eita menina, é pra cá, né? <laughs> Pull out that wallet for twelve hundred dollars for a Galaxy S9, guys. And wait, was that the plus or was that the regular? The one twenty eight was. Oh. They only have the plus for the one twenty eight. Okay. Let me check. I don't think they have a, a one twenty eight for the the regular. I mean, okay. nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Nelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Only the plus. Okay, so the regular 64. <laughs> yeah. They don't have a 64 for the plus. Wow. So you got to get the 128, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. Hybrid SIM or single SIM? Mm. Oh, they sim. don't even have a single SIM. Then no price. <laughs> They're like, you get the big guns or the low guns. That's it. All right. So Canadian price for the 128 will be 1500 before tax. And tax is 13%. So... Uh, you're looking at uh, uh, seven, seven, what, 1600 bucks uh, for, uh, oof. Oh, my God. Bucks, yeah. Yeah. That's well, we got we live in a world with a, with, a, with a bunch of rich folks, right? We all rich. That's what they're believing, <laughs> right? You can spend $1,000 on the phone. That's no problem. Sounds like say, ain't no problem. Y'all got the money. What is y'all complaining about? Why are we talking about how much a phone costs? Y'all got the money? All these people in these streams up here talk about, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Man, they all got the money. Samsung know this already. Samsung, like, hey, what y'all complaining about? Y'all go buy the phone. Man, mm -hmm. It only costs $1,200. Come on. Yeah. Ain't nothing but $1,200. What y'all complaining about? Right? Y'all want y'all go all go buy the Galaxy S9. And y'all going to be talking about it. Ooh, I got the Galaxy S9. And y'all going to go pay $1,200 for it. No. <laughs> yeah. And look, Samsung rely on y'all. I mean, Samsung Knights, they're gonna be standing up at attention. They 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 got their pre orders they ready to go. Mm -hmm. Right? So we got, you know, then you got the die hall Samsung fans. They ain't worried about the price. What's that? Just like Apple fans. Apple say $999 for an iPhone. They, people's like, it's no big deal. We're gonna buy it anyway. And that's how these companies, that's how they think, right? They don't they ain't care about people complaining. People say, if you go complain, get a ZTE phone. <laughs> <laughs> if you go complain, get a Huawei, what, what is that, the, uh, the X7, right? People go complain, don't complain. People go, yeah. say they don't, they want this. They got people hanging out and say, okay, I want the iPhone 10. You're going to pay $999 plus take, it cost you $1,200. Oh, but you got to buy a case. He what said... When the math is done, it's going to be $1,695. That's after taxes. That's close mm. to that's close to $1,700. It is. Oh, my gosh. That hurts. People will buy the phone and skip rent or mortgage payments. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in the U.S., you could just finance it. Yeah, that's I true. I mean, you'll finance it longer. Then you would a different phone, you know, when it was like eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Instead of thirty months, they go probably put you on forty months. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can pay a house. Uh, let's hope that the months. phone lasts that long, though. It ain't gonna last that long. Hell, I got the Galaxy S eight, man. It might go maybe another six months, man. It's it's pooping <laughs> out. <laughs> probably. Just crawling. Help, please help. Yeah. Can, can I get it? Can I get a little? Can I get a little love? Can I get some Oreo, Oreo love with it? <laughs> Can I get a little Oreo love with it, please? Samsung, you, I, y'all, y'all got a crew of people that watch these videos. This is the Galaxy S8. I got the Galaxy Note sit right there, right? Can I get some Oreo? <laughs> can, I get, can I get that Oreo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come down and tell T-Mobile or whoever you got to do. Can you? Can I get a little Oreo, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes. I mean, they did roll it out, but then a lot of people kept having so many problems with it. <laughs> and they canceled. Like, crazy, stop, like, like <laughs> in less than 24 hours. <sighs> like, oh, was all the beta testers sleeping? Did they not tell them <laughs> on the phone? Like, what happened? <laughs> they say, uh, nah, man, we, we just want people to complain. So we go deploy this update, even though it, it would do a boot loops on people's phones, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, listen, you got to be kidding me at this point. You mean to tell me that the engineers, the beta testers, all these people gave the approval to deploy a system update 
and they they, they didn't catch some of this stuff. I, I don't understand. I I, 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 for the life of me, I can't understand how, how things can be deployed. <laughs> and <laughs> you, better, you better hit the grocery store for that Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's vegan. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I did. I just say, like, I, I listen. I, I think we need to hold these companies' feet to the fire. You give us a system update, it updates some stuff, but it breaks other things, right? I mean, Apple been doing this for the last couple of months. They see your system update for for the iPhone, but they have some vulnerabilities that they yeah. didn't patch up. So now you there could, now for for what's gonna happen with S9? Yes, you know? because they <laughs> this one now has AR. So who knows what kind of glitches we're gonna get now? <laughs> All of a sudden, you're gonna get a heart emoji, and then it's just gonna die. <laughs> like who knows what's gonna happen now? I'm worried. You know. Yeah. Well, eight forty five processor, four gigs of RAM for the smaller variant, six gigs of RAM for the bigger variant. You get two cameras, telephoto lens, wide angle lens. Yeah. Um, you get you get the good body style. Uh, you get but how's your note doing? Has it has it been lagging or anything like that? Uh, you know, here's the thing about the note. I I I, I use the note mainly for decks, right? Mm -hmm. All the Galaxy S. I've been using the Galaxy S8 for a lot of videos right now to kind of because I've been doing stress test videos and heat test videos and stuff like that. The note always going decks. Yeah. The performance of the note is okay. I don't have a problem with the performance too much, but I've been using it mainly for decks. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it has a lot of functionality, and I also use it for the pen. And I probably emails coming in left and right. Uh, and I, I use it a lot for the S Pen, try to get some work done and stuff like that. But I, I give up. I give up on speed when it comes down to, to Samsung devices. Mm -hmm. I realized one thing a long time ago: if you want a Samsung devices, it's not about speed; it's about functionality. Yeah. So when you do get the occasional hiccups and lags and stuff like that, that just how Samsung rolls. I mean, you're not getting speed, you're yeah. getting functionality. So my whole plan of thought with Samsung devices has changed uh, because I know two things gonna happen. I know I'm gonna get the updates gonna come out slow uh, and I know I'm not gonna get the speedier device. So with that said, then I know what I'm buying. Is it right? No, it's not right. But I know when I buy a Samsung phone, I know that in 2019, the Galaxy S, nine is still going to be rocket android 8.0 i already know this already yeah right? it sure is i already know this already right i already know i already know that in 2019 before the galaxy s10 come out the galaxy s8 will be rocket 8.0 when we got when they got phones that got 8.1 right now so yeah. so that, that's what i'm saying so i i realized this already but i took to 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 samsung credit they do update their legacy devices, Galaxy S6, Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy S7, all getting the Oreo update. Don't know when, but they are slated to get. So I do give applaud to Samsung that they do still support legacy devices. Mm -hmm. But as far as, you know, getting the latest updates, getting this or getting that, uh, <clears throat> not, Samsung all is going to be the still a good phone, but they're not going to get Android 9.0 just like everybody else until the new release iteration of the phone. That's mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it. Yeah. Like the, the next bug will be the Talia African hit. Hit the space bar, a virus, or you just send someone a heart to say you love them and the phone crashes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most likely that's what it's gonna be. I'm, yeah. I'm worried, I'm worried. See, cause I, you know, with the Apple phone, with the, with the X, with it having AR and stuff like that, I was hoping to see a lot of more innovative apps and things that you could do with AR after it came out. But because it had so many bugs, they were just more focused on damage control versus, you know, creating new type of awesome things to do. So yeah. and, I mean, I'm worried the that the same fate is going to bestow on Samsung. Yeah. And you know what? At the end of the day, I think hey, it is what it is. I mean, Samsung released a product. Uh, we're going to embrace it. We're going to review it. We're going to love it. Or we're going to hate it. Um, we already knew everything about the phone before it came out. I think that was the biggest problem for Samsung at this keynote address. Uh, that uh, all the product was already leaked out before we got it. 
So I don't know. Um, yeah. But we go get the device. We go put it through its pace, and uh, you know, see if it's gonna be King Supreme. And mm-hmm. that, that's that's about basically everything about the Galaxy S eight or Galaxy S nine is it's it's what what you expected. Uh, nice incremental upgrade. Uh, I, we again, they really focus on the cameras. Uh, so let's see how these cameras are gonna work with the slow boy in and out and all that stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't to me with the four gigs of RAM and man, I don't know, man. It's still a high price point. Except, Here's a question. Mm-hmm. Here's a question for you and for everybody else on the stream. If an average consumer came to you and said, "Should I get the S9 right now? Should I pre-order?" What would you tell them? Uh, I would. I would tell them. I would tell them wait right now. The reason why I say wait right now, I'll tell. A lot of YouTubers, the the trust trustworthy YouTubers, get their hands on the device, pick it apart, so you can know the pros and cons about the phone. I I, I, I think I think if you got a Galaxy S eight and you want to upgrade to the Galaxy S nine, mm-hmm. I would I would hold off or you maybe get the I would say wait to the sixteen, get the phone, go to the store, play around with it. If if you like it, then buy it. You got a fourteen day return. Uh, so take those 14 days to test drive it. Uh, then if you don't like it, then return it. Mm-hmm. Um, it if you're coming from a, this, is, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I got the Galaxy S7 Edge. If you're coming from a Galaxy S7 Edge, I'm going to say, yeah, go it on. And I, 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 don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll know. say my my thing. I would say, I no, don't pre-order. Yeah, I don't, yeah, First I don't, of all, you're not getting a lot of gifts. It's it's really expensive. Um we don't know what type of foreseeable bugs it's going to be, it's going to have. Um, I would say, wait, do not pre-order it. Don't pre-order it. Wait, wait until it comes out, see if there's gonna be a better deal that's gonna come out for it. Yeah. Um, if you even if you have a seven, I would I would say not don't pre-order the S9 because we don't know what type of bugs it's gonna have. We yeah. don't know how well it's gonna work. So yeah. Because there really isn't it because it's so expensive and they don't give you a lot of bang for your buck right now for the price that it is, I would say hold off, wait yeah. for a really good deal. Yeah, I, you know what? I agree with you, and, and the reason why is because I stopped doing that. I I did this last year in 2017. I pre-ordered everything. Uh, it, it, I always like to pick on the LG G6. I pre-ordered LG G6 at an 800 price point. And, and and oh my God! If I only could have waited two months, mm-hmm. I could have saved four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. Wow. This is one of the reasons why I'm not pre-ordering. Yeah, uh, it's because it's one of those things, man. That you you right, you wait maybe about a month. Probably not with Samsung devices. They probably they ain't gonna go down dramatically. You do you go see some deals with maybe buy one uh, get one free. Uh, this that type of stuff because you the carriers always try to work out some deals to try to yeah. try to push a product. Uh, I would tell you that you know me. I'm gonna try to get the phone as fast as possible. I am not pre-ordering it, uh, so I'm gonna be really late with my review. Yeah. You're gonna see a thousand reviews before you see my review. <laughs> so I can tell you right now that YouTube gonna be flooded with reviews. Easy computer solutions we probably won't have it. Yeah. Uh, so I. I don't know. Unless, unless for some strange reason, Samsung say easy. I want you to have a device, and they will send it to me fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one thing, but I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, so I probably won't get it till in the next month, going into the month after next. I probably won't get it. Uh, the comment sections is really good. So uh, let me just touch back on the AR stuff. So the tech couple said AR is still lit. It just depends on what developer. And then as far as answering the question if an average consumer should get the phones, they said it depends on what type of phone that they have now. And then to further go into that, they said about the pre-order, just unbox it, do a first impression, and then send (laughs) it right back. No full review here, LOL. I'll tell you on that one. Um, 10 Minute Tech Review said that if they have an S7, then they should upgrade to the S9. If you have an S8, uh, S8 Plus, then nope, don't um, don't don't upgrade to the S9. Um, and then 
10 minute tech review said i'd actually tell them to tune in to 10 minute tech review and easy computer solutions for coverage and wait <laughs> yeah that's a good advice uh, sean and vega said i wonder if the manufacturers are responsible for some of the early leaks probably probably <laughs> and then um marty ingram had a good question he asked why didn't they update the ui oh wow so, uh, you know who knows who I, knows I'm still, I'm still like they really couldn't um do too many things at once they couldn't yeah. really handle multitasking which is kind of ironic for a, a device that's really good on multitasking um andre said if you have the note 8 and the s8 i said don't buy uh the trade option is pretty good but i would i would i, I would pay to wait I don't know about the trade option going to the carriers, but not going to Samsung. We got spoiled. We got spoiled with uh with the Note Seven debacle, and then they, they uh, gave us all of these like, you know, good. They gave us some good deals, but yeah, I, they got some good deals. So we're spoiled now, and yeah. they're not. They don't have any free <laughs> gifts. No, not even an SD card. My gosh! Wow, they really. <laughs> I was holding on to my invisible uh, girl. Uh, <laughs> oh wait a minute! They didn't talk about 4K 60 frames per second in this nope. in this video. Oh my god! So maybe the maybe the Galaxy S9 doesn't have 4K at 60. <laughs> they got to fix the full. They listen. They got to fix 1080p 60 frames. Wait a minute! Time out! <laughs> don't get <laughs> listen. Don't give me 4K 60 frames per second if you haven't fixed 30 60 frames per second at 1080p. No, yeah. don't do it. <laughs> Could you imagine recording at 4K 60 frames per second and that thing that I, for that focusing like everything <laughs> is blurry? You got a vocal effect, right? The whole uh, nah, nah. I, I would say. I would say first fix 1080p 60 frames per second first. Yeah. Then if you want to maybe down the line, update the phone to give you 4K at 60 frames per second, then do that. But Sam, don't do it, Samsung. Don't give me 4K at 60 frames per second because as soon as we try it out and we put it next to an iPhone and the iPhone don't have no problem focusing and all of a sudden the Samsung device is out of focus for the whole video, y'all don't get mad at me talking about I got a defect. My camera lens is dirty. I, these are the comments I get. Uh, by the way, when, when I when I always do camera reviews, I got a defect. All my Galaxy phones are, are, are lemons. All my Galaxy phones, I always got the smudge camera thing, you know. Uh, but oh my God, don't give me 4K at 60 frames per second if you didn't fix 60 at 1080p. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Woo! That's gonna Let's be see. sad if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Samsung! Don't do it. I, I, I'm not. I am. That's one. Of the, that's one. Of the, uh, that is a feature I don't want from Samsung right now. I really don't. I really don't want 4K at 60 frames per second right now because 1080p 60 is not is is terrible. Yeah. Don't don't give me 60 at 4K. Don't no. Um, let me ask you something, thing. Eric. How has my camera been in the live stream? Great. It's been great. Clear. Yeah, clear. I'm using my Note 8. Ah, yeah. And I haven't been uh, using, um, who was it that also was in a live stream? They were using their Note 8 and it had focusing issues. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But oh, mine yeah. hasn't been having any focusing issues. Yeah. You want to know why? Why? You use it, Because I'm not using the Samsung camera software. Ah, see, that's the problem. That's the <laughs> That's the trick. That's is to start up with that oh, Samsung bro. optimization. They need to optimize their software. <laughs> no, it, ha it hasn't had any focusing problems. Uh, nope. And I'm using the rear camera too. I'm not even using the front camera. I'm using the rear camera. So yes. it's starting up with that software that where yeah. it can't focus. Yeah. It could, yeah, but it can't. Yeah, I'll that, do a tutorial on what what software is it that I use. I'm I'm using the actual camera on my Note 8, but I'm not using the Samsung software for the camera. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So uh, I got. I think we answered everybody's question, mm -hmm. right? I mean, uh, is, is it anything else we need to talk about? I mean, we talked about the good, the bad, the ugly. I, yeah. mean, uh, I think we talked I think we talked about the good, the bad, the ugly, the gross. <laughs> we talked about it all. Um, um now we just gotta watch these videos <laughs> and uh you know see what's going on and then get the phone in our hands and then and then just take it from there. Yeah. So I think we said all that we need to say from the leaks 
and the uh, event, yeah. uh, putting those two things together and kind of what we saw on the internet, what they have on there, what they don't have on the internet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we've said it all. Well, well, there it is, right? Right, you're live. This is how we do it. Every keynote address, this is how I try to present it, guys, uh, to try to bring y'all guys to after party. And uh, this was strange. This is strange. I, I don't know. I, I, I was not, I, I was not jumping up and down for joy. I didn't, I didn't feel the, the hype and the motivation uh, from this keynote address. It was good. It was okay. They didn't go into a lot of detail. Um, I don't know. It just. I don't know. They just didn't do it. So that's it. This we had a lot of people on here. I, I was taking notes on all the people that were here. I hope I caught everybody's name because there's just a lot of people talking. So yeah. we want we could do a roll call before let's, we go. Let's do a roll call. Yeah. Right, let's, do a roll. let's do a roll call before we go. All right. So here we go. <sighs> I feel like I'm missing some people. I hope I'm not. It was the chat was going on really fast. So we got 10 minute tech, Cliff Peters. Um, no eight is boss, the boss Mr. 300, Manu Chown Han, Jason Jill, Lamar Ward, KOB Hop, Sixto Lewis, uh, Bigness Tex, Uno Nice, John Vega Velez, Don Brog, Ace Lucero, Jason Jill, Sean Orjekor, Omar Carrington, Alan Anthony, Deepak Murray. Uh, Murthy, Cecil Betty, D Glaze, Mark Tora the second. Uh, I don't know if it's Nyla or Nayla. Mm. Uh, Brian Dyer, Andre Rivers, Stephen Moore, J a uh, D J W nineteen eighty one, R Dog, Smojo, Brian Dyer, Rahul Rag have Rag Havan. Raul Raghavnan, the tech couple, Sage Tech, uh, DVZN Media, uh, Monte Cork, uh, Craig Tech Talk, Dexter's 73, and Riot. And uh, did I say Lamar Ward? Lamar Ward. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think I said everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, that's it. All right, guys, so we go get out of here. This is Thanks your for stopping coverage. On of the Galaxy S9. We got more interesting videos to come. And also don't forget about Wine Wednesday. Every Wednesday night we got the ladies and we're gonna talk a little more about uh, some of the Samsung stuff as we get into it. And we're gonna have uh, a lot of conversation about the Samsung event and life and whatever else, at, you know, for, for Wine Wednesday. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome to East Computer Solutions. I will give a huge thank out to Catwoman. Thank you very much for joining this Sunday stream with the Galaxy S9. Thanks for inviting me. Thank <laughs> you. All right, guys. See y'all. Peace.